Hello, and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. Now today we're going to be talking about Photo Etch. As I said in my most recent video, um, the place that I most often use Photo Etch is um, seatbelt buckles. And as I shared here with this uh, Tamiya 120 uh, detail set, and as you can see here, this also comes with a tyre stencil for 120 uh, Formula One cars. I also feel that Photo Etch is quite a valuable tool that you can use in other areas as well. And it doesn't always need to um, break the bank. You can use it in quite an economical way. Now, there's a few different kinds of um, sets that you can get. Websites like Hero Boy here have a really extensive range, but I'll show you some of the ones that I have. Now, this is one of the more expensive varieties of uh, photo etch sets, um, the kind of uh, detail or upgrade set. Um, this one, as you can see here, is for the McLaren MP44 120. I have got the Tamiya set. These are usually pretty expensive, and as I say, they are only really uh, for use with one particular set. I will do a proper um, unboxing of this uh, when I build the McLaren, but you can see here that um, it comes with you know, several uh, frets, different parts, quite a nice sort of, um, de you know, uh, McLaren logo there which I guess you could use with the display base some bits to actually replace really large parts of the uh, of the front and rear wing lots of nuts and bolts extra seatbelt buckles things like that and it comes with instructions on on how to use it and, and everything else like that so that's kind of the the upper end of things uh, now increasingly nowadays, kits are actually coming with the photo etch parts included. Um, the Japanese companies uh, like um, Tamiya and Hasegawa are some of the most likely ones. I um, have got this Hasegawa Ford Focus 2000 and as you can see uh, when we open it up, it does come with its own uh, photo etch parts. Um, grills for the radiator, seatbelt buckles, but also things like, I think these are for the instrument displays, uh, wing mirrors, I think that's the rear view mirror as well. So it's a really nice touch that more and more sets are including these optional parts. Now here are the two of the kind of sets which I recommend if you want to do things in a more sort of economical way. So these are ABBA seatbelt buckles, I spoke about them before, they're 124. Um, I have managed to get a lot of use out of this by being quite sparing with how I've used the buckles. Um, but also um, these I've found to be incredibly useful. So these are um, the Model Factory Hero um, catch pins, which as you can see there, I bought from Hero Boy. I think these were about £10, I can't remember. But um, I've got an incredible uh, amount of use out of them. Just open them up and show you. So in here, there, there is quite a variety of uh, different things, kind of like um, screw heads, uh, different kind of bonnet catch pins, um, some of these, I think I've got more detail, yeah there we are, I've got more detail on the other side. Some of these look like screw heads, they can also be used as keyholes. Um, these are like uh, surrounds for instrument displays, there's small sort of like little rivet heads down there. You know, there, there are loads just on this one thing and even though I've used them quite a lot, you can see that there are a lot left over. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about how I use them. So this is the um, Hella Peugeot 206 uh, 2003. Now it doesn't come with any bonnet clips. So you can see there that I've added some and there are also places on the back uh, where I've added them here and also added some little uh, rivets to other places. So that's some of the simplest ways that photo etch parts can be used. This was the uh, Ravel Shelby Cobra, which I built earlier this year, uh, links in the description. I used some of the chrome circles, these kind of instrument uh, display things, um, in there in the uh, dash, and it gave it a bit more depth and uh, quite a nice finish, in my opinion. 
Obviously, if you wanted to, you could sand away some of the molded bonnet clips like this and uh, replace them with some of the ones from on here. I decided not to do that, but there's nothing stopping you from doing that sort of thing. Finally, and on my most recent build, the Ferrari F40, um, I used some of these for the uh, keyholes on the catches um, where you can see kind of like the, the boot opening and things like that, um, and also in the doors like this. Um, so that's another really sort of uh, simple way of getting a neat and effective looking um, piece of photo etch used. So if we're looking at sort of how to use it, um, obviously one of the main problems with things like this is that if you drop them, they are almost impossible to find. So um, here's a few tips. So one of the first things that you might want to do is to get some masking tape. Now simply by attaching this to the back of the fret, like so, I think fret's the right word, that means that if I then uh, cut it off, it should still be stuck down and won't ping across the room. So that's quite a nice idea. Secondly, um, you'll want to use a craft knife, preferably one with a, uh, a new sharp blade. Then obviously you'll want to look at where the joins are and remove it like so. Now then, then tweezers like this can help, sort of jeweler's tweezers, although these are still pretty small, um, these parts, so you do want to be careful. Um, another thing you can do is that you can actually just sort of press it into your finger, but do also be careful with that. Now as for gluing them in place, I find something like this is the best. Um, part of the reason that I would use this is because um, it's uh, gel rather than the standard super glue, which means it won't run. Um, however, obviously this will react very badly with paint and uh, clear parts. I think if I was attaching this to a clear part, I would instead use a bit of PVA. Um, and if you are nervous about using something like this, then PVA would be a good alternative. So I would um, put this onto a tray, a bit of plastic or something like that that you're not using. And then I would simply get a little dab on the end of a cocktail stick and dab that just very quickly into the place where you want the part to go and then apply it very quickly. So this time I'll demonstrate and I'll use one of these parts to add a keyhole to the side of the uh, Peugeot 206. So as you can see here, I've got it onto the tape. I'm going to be very careful not to lose the part. Just press it down and I can hear that that's gone through. In fact, I can see that I can move it on the tape ever so slightly. Then what I've done is I've just put a little bit of Gorilla Glue just there on this piece of spare plastic and I will get a tiny bit on the end of this I can just about see that there is something on there and I will add it to the place where I want it to go very 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 careful if I actually remove the tape I can actually see that it is on there just about okay that's on my finger on my thumb I should say then I can very carefully use the other end of the cocktail stick just to reposition it before it sets. And there you are. Not bad. So I hope that that guide has helped and uh, goes, hope it goes to show that you can use photo etch parts uh, without breaking the bank. Thanks for watching. Please do comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.